In question number seven, we're supposed to write the polynomial function of least degree with the integral coefficients that have a given zero. So what we're given is that this function has zeros of negative two, five, and negative three i. There's another zero here that you always have to be aware of, especially if you have a complex zero. We know there's a negative two, we know there's a five. When they put minus three i, there's automatically another three i. It's the positive three i. So remember that complex numbers or solutions never come along. I said just trying to, trying to make something to help you remember is complex or cowardly, they always come in couples. So these always have to come in the couples. So the next thing we have to do is we have to figure out how to write them as the factors so that we can multiply them together. Well, the link to this is if we know the zero, then this factor is just writing the opposite in our x plus 2 in this case, and the other case would be x minus 5. In the case of the other two, it's going to be x plus 3i, and then this one will be x minus 3i. So what we want to do is we want to write the factor by putting it in there with x and writing the opposite sign. In essence, what we're saying is we know that our x-intercept is a negative 2. We want to write the factor, so our factor is x plus 2 equals 0. Factors are always equal to 0. Or we know our 0 is a 5, so we want to set our factor equal to 0, so x minus 5 equals 0. So we can apply that strategy to all of them. Uh, many of you are just saying, let's just change the signs to the opposite, which is the same effect, but you just got to be careful not to have too many memory tricks like that. So we're going to multiply these polynomials two at a time. So I'm use the FOIL process for this one. So the first outside, inside, last. Make some quick work of that one. We got x squared, negative 5x on the outside. On the inside is a positive 2x. That ends up with a negative 3x. When we collect our like terms, and then negative 5 times 2 is a negative 10. This is the result when we took those two um, binomials together. And we're going to multiply these other two binomials together. So Again, we're going to apply the FOIL technique on it. It's just a distributive property. We're double distributing. So the x times x is our x squared. We've got a negative 3i. And on the inside, we have a positive 3i. x, I misspoke the first time. This is a negative 3ix. On the inside is a positive 3ix. Those cancel. On the outside, or the very last term, we'll have a negative 9i squared. So you have a positive 3 times a negative 3 is a negative 9. i times i is i squared. Well, in i squared, you have to remember that i squared simplifies to a negative 1, so really it's a negative 9 times a negative 1, so that factor becomes an x squared plus 9. Now we want to distribute these and get our polynomial. It should be a 4 degree polynomial. We have four, four zeros here. So we'll take our x squared times x squared, which is x to the fourth. I'll take the x squared times a negative three x, which is a negative three x cubed. I'll take the x squared times a negative ten, which is negative ten x squared. Then we we'll distribute the nine. So when we distribute the nine, it'll be nine times x squared or nine x squared. So I'm going to put that underneath our ten x squared. Then I'm going to take the nine times the three x, which will be negative twenty seven x. I take the nine times negative ten, which is negative ninety. Draw a line, collect your like terms. We have our polynomial of x to the fourth minus 3x cubed minus x squared plus 27x minus 90. Now this is how we generate a polynomial with integral coefficients of least degree. It's basically writing the factors and then using your distributive property.